Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jones from drbean.com. Today in the psychiatry series, we're going to be discussing mood disorders, also known as affective disorders. In this lecture, we will talk about the presentation, diagnosis and treatment approaches for an array of mood disorders. It's normal to feel sad occasionally, but what happens when this goes on for more than a two-week period? And what happens if this is associated with sleep disturbance, loss of interest, feeling guilty, feeling fatigued and low in energy, having decreased concentration, decreased or increased appetite, and being agitated and slow, and having suicidal ideation? Well, you may be experiencing something called a depressive episode. Major depressive disorder is characterized by one or more of these depressive episodes, and a diagnosis of major depressive disorder requires depressed mood or anhedonia, which is loss of interest and pleasure, and five or more signs or symptoms for the Siggy Caps mnemonic for a two week period. As you can see, the Siggy Caps is a very good way to remember the symptoms um, of depression. So, in terms of epidemiology, the male to female ratio is one to two. Lifetime prevalence ranges from 15 to 25%, and the onset of depression is usually in the mid 20s. Prevalence of depression increases with age, and approximately 2 to 9% of these patients die by suicide. There are a few types of depression to be aware of. They include psychotic features. So psychotic depression is typically mood congruent delusions and hallucinations. You can also get atypical depression, which is characterized by weight gain, hypersomnia, so hypersomnia sleeping a lot, and rejection sensitivity. You can also get seasonal uh, depression, where depressive episodes tend to occur during a particular season, most commonly winter. This responds well to light therapy with or without antidepressants. So, how do we treat someone with depression? Well, first we make sure that the patient is safe because they may be a high risk of suicide. In terms of pharmacotherapy, we could try a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. We could also try a tricyclic antidepressant. A monoamine oxidase inhibitor as well could be used. You can also try electroconvulsive therapy, which has been shown to be very effective if patient is suicidal or resistant to medication. Individual psychotherapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, may help also. So, what are some differential diagnoses? Well, hypothyroidism, you could get dementia, tumors, cerebrovascular accidents, it could be grief, substance abuse, it could be another mood disorder. So, there's multiple different differentials which um, you should keep in mind when looking at a patient who has low mood. Now let's look at another case. Marcus, a 20-year-old medical student, has recently started learning how to program. He is also learning French, how to play the piano, violin, and guitar. He has recently failed two of his exams. When you're speaking to him, he seems very hyper and is very excited about his plans for the future. His speech is pressured, and he reports having racing thoughts for the past two weeks. Do you know what diagnosis this is? This case illustrates bipolar type 1 disorder. Do you know why? 